if you need any Xbox or PlayStation codes or any cheap PC games, use the referral link in the description. It will take you over to G2A.com. They already have a discount on most of their goods. And if you use the code CHEZ at checkout, you can get yourself an extra 3% off as well. Hey guys, how's it going? Chez back again and welcome to episode number 128 of the My Player series here on FIFA 16. We start with an away game against Real Madrid. We seem to have played them so many times this season. Well, it seems to be the way we actually have them coming up again in the league in a couple of episodes time. In fact, that will be in the next episode. Uh, we played Real Madrid, of course, uh, a couple of episodes ago. In the first leg, we were able to get a 1-1 draw only at uh, at home at the Camp Nou. Now we have to travel to the Bernabeu. However, last time we went to the Bernabeu in the league, we were able to get a 2-0 victory. So, fingers crossed, things will be okay. We also have Real Betis on the horizon as well as Juventus. Last time things worked out, we played Real Madrid. We then played the league game and got dropped for Juve. I'm hoping this time around we'll play Madrid, get dropped for Betis and play Juve. If not, just play all three games. That would be preferable, I suppose. But we'll jump straight in. we got Messi, Aguero and Neymar up top. So Man is back. That will be uh, hopefully enough to see us get a win here against Real Madrid. If you enjoyed today's episode, make sure you drop the video a like rating, of course, as always. And subscribe to the channel too to ensure that you don't miss out on any future episodes of this or any other series on the channel but without any further ado we will jump into the game against Real Madrid. Bale into Yuri Tielemans quickly gets it to Blanchard to Benzema nice tackle by the defender but it's only gone as far as Luka Modric and work it out wide Ronaldo's over there Cohen trails on the overlap here is the Portuguese into the box with a nice turn I don't know whether to close him down or the man that's arriving on the edge of the box Blanchard has the first chance of the game but thankfully it's well deflected and or well blocked and uh, he's able to pick up the uh, the ball with the goalkeeper, Claudio Bravo. Oh, Sergio Roberto, there's a high foot if you ever saw one. Almost toe-poking the, uh, the Real defender in between the eyes there. But we'll see if we can get a move coming here. Fire it to Aguero. Touch is left a little bit wanting. And as such, the ball's gone back to uh, the hosts. Blanchard into Karim Benzema. Oh, back across to Blanchard, trying to get the tackling. Don't give a foul, ref, you dickhead. It's a similar-ish position, a little bit further out, to where Ronaldo scored the free kick in the first leg. To be fair, it's probably about 10, 15 yards further out. He's still going to go for it, though. Cristiano over the top of the bar, and a comfortable, comfortable clearance for Claudio Bravo from the goal kick. Modric around the corner to Lulic. I'm finding myself in a left-back position here. Dani Alves oh, doesn't necessarily deal with that as comfortably as I might have liked him to, but we have managed to get it away. Bale, though, will recover and send it back into Modric. Ronaldo is there out wide if they want to use him, but Modric might come central. Someone's ended up on the floor, but Modric is just going to run past him. Benzema's down the line. In the end comes two Tielemans, who was the man on the floor. Real slow in their build-up, it has to be said. They're not, there's no real purpose or forward thinking as to their passing. He says as they play, play two forward passes and end up with a shot on goal. Prior to that, though, it's all been sideways from Real Madrid. Ronaldo to take the corner. A few people in the box to aim for, some on the edge, but it's gone in. <gasps> Jordi Alba clears off the line. Wow. That's the first clear-cut opportunity. They were so close there to taking the lead. Keeper came, got nowhere near it, unfortunately. And thankfully, Jordi Alba was there on the line, able to head away. Messi finds oh, Aguero. I thought it was going to come to me. Aguero gets tackled by Modric, though. And Real could come back up the other end. There's only a handful of minutes until half-time. Benzema with a turn into Ronaldo. Benzema could go again, but Dani Alves steals it off him. Benzema wins it back into Cristiano Ronaldo. A dangerous position and a good save from Claudio Bravo. Modric will keep it in. No, he won't. It's going to be a throw-in to Real, though. Here comes Bale, Sergio Roberto on his shoulder, but Bale's just too quick, too quick and too strong. Gareth Bale with the cross. Oh, Borja Mayoral with the outside of his foot. Surely you'd try and sweep that with the instep of your right. You wouldn't try and bend it with the outside of your left. Best opportunity of the game so far, has to be said, for Real Madrid. And a Herrera is coming on for Rafael Blanchard, and we're bringing on Iniesta for Sergio Roberto. They have previously brought on Mayoral at half-time for Benzema as well. Would Karim have put that into the back of the net? I don't know. Would Benzema have been in that position? I'm not sure. He doesn't really seem to get in those sort of positions in game in FIFA. He would do in real life. He'd have buried it right into the top corner. But in FIFA, not quite so obvious a decision to make that one. But we'll fire this out to Neymar. But I've kicked it straight off the pitch. Brilliant. 30 minutes left to go. Corne. Oh, lovely ball through to Neymar. Now the two of us are trying to get there in support. Neymar with a really weird first touch, but he's going to find Messi at the back post. No, Leo. Leo, Leo, Leo. It's not a Messi's tile finish there at all. 
rushing it on his right foot. He had so much space. That's so un esque The best opportunity we've created all game, bar none. But it's still nil-nil. I don't know what the away goal rule is like in the Copa del Rey. If it stays as is and the away goal rule does exist, Real Madrid are going through. Dani Alves into me. Go down the line to Busquets. He's got Messi waiting. He's going to go to me instead. Dani Alves makes the run. That's drawn a couple of defenders away. So we can find Iniesta. Corne into Jordi Alba. Still Jordi Alba maybe. Still Jordi Alba definitely. Into Neymar. Back to Jordi Alba and he's fired it over the bar. He should have shot before he passed it to Neymar. He had a better angle and a better opportunity. But for some reason went for the extra pass. Maybe over barcelona it. Over arsenal it. And it just didn't work. Five minutes to go now until the end. And I'm, I think we might be going out. I'm pretty sure the away goal rule is in effect in the Copa del Rey. And if it is, like I said earlier, we will be out if no goals go in. Lulic, though, messes up there. That was pretty embarrassing for him, especially if it leads to a goal for us. Neymar with a cross. It might do. Jordi Alba threw himself at it. Someone's got to win that header. It was Borja Mayoral that won it. But we ended up with the ball. That was meant for Dani Alves, not Neymar. That's frustrating. Cleared away. Real Madrid are on just ultra defensive, if not part of the bus now. No, your away goal must be in effect. There's no way that Madrid would defend like this when uh, only heading to extra time. He looks for Messi in behind. It's knocked into the area by Fabio Cohen trail, but cleared away. Jordi Alba will take the ball off them. We have to score. Whether it, the away goal rule is in effect or not, oh, and I've given away the ball, we have to score. Jonathan Tarr brings it down. He's going to bring it up to Sergio Busquets, who loses it to Borja Mayoral. Ronaldo back to Cohen trail. They're just taking their time now, I think. I think that's us out of the Copa del Rey. Pretty sure that is us out of the Copa del Rey. We'll find out momentarily. Modric, there goes the final whistle. Madrid players seem to be celebrating. I think we're out on away goals. We have been defeated over the course of two legs by Real Madrid. Barcelona out of the Copa del Rey on away goals at the semi-final stage. Heartbreaking, especially to do it against Real Madrid as well. It's going to be a Valencia-Real Madrid final. Oh, that's devastating. Well then, we better get through against Juventus in the Champions League then, because I really don't want to come away from this season with no trophies. We'll train. We might get a little bit of uh, growth if we have an A in the one on the left, but we don't. It's only a C, and our agility stays at 87. Right then, are we playing Betis, or are we being rested and then playing for against Juventus? Uh, we're being rested and playing against Juventus. Well, I hope we're playing against Juventus. That is the way that we wanted things to go. We get a 1-0 win thanks to Maxwell Corne. Thank you very much. Right. Am I being played against Juventus? I don't know. I'll train first just to see if we can get a little bit closer to uh, 94 rated. I can't quite believe I'm saying that. We've never been rated this high in uh, in a my player to this point. I've done three my players on FIFA 14, 15 and now 16. We've never been 93 rated of our own accord. Obviously, last year um, it glitched and we were like 99 rated, but... We had 99 rated everything, but that was just ridiculous. This time, though, we've earned every single rating so far, and we may get ourselves through to the next round of the Champions League. Was it a 1-1 draw against Juve in the first leg? Or was it a slim 1-0 win? It was a 1-1 draw, and we are now away from home. So uh, Juve have an away goal as well. Away goals cost us against Real. Please don't cost us in the Champions League as well. Kroos. With the turn, back to Sami Kadira, out wide to Isco. Apparently, they are a former Real Madrid and Barcelona side, because presumably Luis Suarez is up top as well. Marquisio into Luis Suarez, playing against his former club for the second time now. Shot deflected out for a corner. They've got Luis Suarez, they've got Tony Kroos, Sami Kadira, and, uh, and Isco. So, four former Real Madrid or Barcelona players. In their starting lineup, Sergio Aguero racing away though. We don't have any former Juventus players in our starting lineup. I tell you what, if Sergio Roberto can make that run and we can ping it to him, we have done. It's Messi, not Sergio Roberto. Lionel Messi runs straight into Bonucci. Here's Sergio Roberto though. I'm gonna call for it. Oh no, he's played it to Neymar. Neymar drops it down to me. Chance to score our first goal of the game against Juventus after eight minutes. We've toe poked it home. I think the commentator enjoyed that one. Messi stayed down injured though, that's a worry. Sergio Roberto crosses it in, Neymar knocks it down to me, the touch beats the defender and we've just thrown a big giant curly toe at it and we've poked it beyond the keeper as he committed to come and get it. 
Real Madrid won. It's David De Gea in goal for Juventus. This Juventus side is ridiculous. It's so good. Busquets to me. I'll go to Jordi Alba first. Then Neymar is in more space. I'll call for the through ball. He's played it to me. Hold off the man. And a second goal for Barcelona and for me against Juventus away from home in the Champions League round of 16. 3 1 up on aggregate now. More away goals than Barcelona. Than Barcelona. We are Barcelona. More away goals than Juventus as well. If Juve do bring it back level on the night, we'll go through and away goals. Juve need to score three now to make sure that they go through to the next round. We are in front and dominant so far against Juventus here away from home in Italy. Neymar. Sergio Roberto to me. I'm going to go. Oh, I couldn't put it out of my feet quick enough. I was going to go out wide to Danny Alves. Here's Tony Kroos into Claudio Marquisio. Luis Suarez is pointing for it down the line, but he's not going to get it. We've stolen it off him. Sergio Aguero gets it out wide to Jordi Elba, racing away now into Neymar. I'm hearing support if he needs, but he's going to go back down the line to Jordi Elba. He will keep this in. Will he find a teammate, though? That's the question. I tell you what, I'm in a bit of space. We could be in for a hat trick. Turn the corner, have the shot. No, David De Gea, you son of a bitch. I thought I was going to get my and Barcelona's third goal of the game there. We might be able to get ourselves an assist, though. We can find a teammate with this, which we will. But Aguero tests it straight to the defender. Never mind. Still just 2-0, five minutes from half time. Vertonghen. How is it out wide to Alex Vidal? This is where you need Danny Elvis to come on the overlap. <laughs> we need Kun for Rives a little bit too late, really. He's going to get it to Alex Vidal and then back to Danny Elvis. I'm here in support. I see Sergio Aguero, though, through that gap. That's a good turn. Aguero might shoot. He still might. He has, and he's hit Benucci square in the jaw, and it's going to go out for a corner to Barcelona. Am I taking it? No. Apparently, I only take corners from the other side. Fair enough. Sergio Roberto with the cross, though, looking for me. Isco heads it clear. I'm eventually back to my feet. Aguero around the corner to me. Let's try a little scoop turn. I'm desperate to get a hat-trick. I'm not going to get it, though, because Benucci again is in the way, and this time De Gea clears up. Storaro in the middle to Pereira. I'm not sure where Pereira thinks he's going there, but the ball has ended up with Luis Suarez into Chiellini. He must be an all-out attack now. Where's that going? Just wide. Chance for Storaro to get them a goal back, but doesn't look like Juventus is going to be able to pull this around. Sergio Aguero is going off now for Martin... Oh, no. I was like, what? For Martin Caceres? Uh, no, Caceres comes on for Isla, and uh, Dongu Safak has come on for Sergio Aguero. I think we're on ultra-defensive. I don't think we're on part the bus just yet. Well, it, won't be, it wouldn't surprise me if we are soon on part the bus. Here's Christian Teo, which is going to try and keep possession away from Juventus now, I think. And then we'll be able to cruise to a 2-0 slash 3-1 victory in the uh, round of 16 of the Champions League. This does not entirely make up for the semi-final defeat against Real Madrid, although I, I, tell you, oh, I was going to say, although if I can get a hat-trick here, it might, but my touch was terrible. And I tell you, they might be into the other end now. Luis Suarez racing away. Jonathan Tarr's wiped him out. Nothing given from the referee. That's surprising. Five minutes to go. Sergio Roberto. There's space here for Alex Vidal. He's got Maxwell Cornet running in front of him. I'm at the back post. I'm going to call for a cross. No, it's not going to reach me. Oh, I was desperate for a hat-trick, but just the brace is all we're good for. But it's good enough to get us through to the quarterfinals of the Champions League at the expense of Juventus. Really, really tough game. We have got the goals early on, though, and then just sat on it, really, for the rest of the game. Juve had a couple of chances, but nothing really clear-cut. Nothing good enough to warrant getting them really, truly back into the game. Delighted with the 2-0 win. Delighted with my goals. Delighted to get one over on Luis Suarez after leaving us. And now we're into the quarterfinals of the Champions League. Doesn't necessarily make up for the semi-final defeat to Real Madrid, although you would rather win the Champions League than the Copa del Rey. So, yeah. We'll see how things go for the rest of this season. That's going to bring today's episode to a close, though, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Drop the video a like if you enjoyed, of course, and subscribe. Messi's out for two months. Rip, rip, rippity, rip, rip, rip. Messi's out for two months. Will he be back? Uh, what are we? 12th of March, 12th of April. He'll be back for the end of the season. That's fine. Okay, Messi will be back for the end of the season. Oh, he... Bloody well better be as well. That's all for now. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.